Almost two months after the state election, MPs are finally ready to get down to parliamentary business. Two days of ceremony to open the 55th Parliament have ended. Tomorrow there will be a motion of confidence in the new government with the first question time on Friday. Governments may come and go more quickly these days, but some things never change. Each new parliament is formally opened by the governor after inspecting the Australian Federation Guard and a 19-gun salute. There's room for just a touch of informality. You can sit, yes. <laughs> but protocol must be followed. Mr Speaker, do I have permission to enter the chamber? It's one of the quirks of the Westminster system that the governor's speech is written by the government. In this parliament, my government will embark on an extensive legislative program. It has made commitments to create jobs and expand training opportunities. Indeed, delivering jobs for Queenslanders will be the major focus of my government. It has pledged to be a government of consensus. Despite that promise of a consensus style of government, the Premier knows she will clash with the opposition leader on the floor of the new parliament. But she is trying to find some common ground. For example, she won't just bin Campbell Newman's Queensland plan. There was goodwill there and it's something that I'm prepared to have a look at and review. But it won't be all sweetness and light. The health system, as always, will be a bone of contention. It was made pretty efficient, wasn't it? Oh, I, I think uh, uh, there are a lot of issues in health and uh, over the next uh, three to six months, uh, Steve, uh, Queenslanders will be learning a lot more about um, uh, some of the things the former health minister may have said. I think we've just heard from Anastasia. She's already filling up the mud bucket, so they're going to come out later this week. We'll see how much mud is flung when the confidence motion is debated. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.